Oh, well, that's all them done. Uh, to swap to these ones, about £14 for 50. I like the Turbo Gold, they're about £9 for 100, so quite a bit cheaper. But I suppose black's better, but gold gets painted, so swings around about, isn't it? I would. I would like to put a nail or something through these through these joints. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, but this timber is going to dry out a bit, maybe shrink. But I'm trying to keep as many fixings down to a minimum. You know, if I stick something through the face there, it's just going to screw it up. Same on there. Maybe down there, but then I've got to get in. So, I think I'm going to leave it, live with it. Roof now. I'm not cutting this down. I'm going to bolt a timber to it. But like I was saying before, I can't get behind to screw a timber on. So these pieces are going to get stood on there. There's another one somewhere there on the floor. It's going to get stood on there. Then I'm going to make the frame up here with all the joists sticking through and then slide the whole thing back sitting on these two timbers on either end just slide it back bolt it on or coach screw it on right, so that's that timber that's going to get bolted on here and I've just transferred the stud lines across So I want these to line up so now I can drop this on top of that sit some rafters in get some screws in I'm gonna put 200 mil coach bolts in you know coach screws similar to these but 200 mil not 100% happy with that normally I'd use maybe joist hangers or get the timber sat on top of a wall plate like that but I ain't got a lot of choice I think they'll be okay I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't hold them up with coach screws hold the floor joist up with coach screws that's a DIY Tommy Walsh job that right hot muggy day today it's not sunny but it's really muggy
Could they be screwed in like that? <laughs> yeah, if you want them to fall off. <laughs> it does look good. I just said to him that I like it when the projector over the top. Now your head's screwed, isn't it? Right, just to catch up. All these joists got a couple of those through. These go into the top rail, they're 150 mil. And on this front edge, these two timbers were already screwed together. And I was going to double up the 6p2 on the front, you know, for this span as a lintel. But I think. kill myself on here I think that's sufficient that's 10 inch who don't want 10 inch and I've run a dozen of these straight up they pulled in quite well I screwed the end of these joists with 6 inch screws because I couldn't get these to sink in and they're going to be in the way See, that one's okay, but it's not flush, same on that end, so I just brought some big screws in instead, they seem to bite better, it's because they're going into end grain, if these had maybe more thread they'd be alright, but, but for this, having no thread was good, because it just sandwiched all them together into that, and you can see they sank well in. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the roof now. Right, I'm going to start putting the putting these things on, mitering them. I think I'll cut them all to the same length. I'll check that distance there and check that distance there first. But I think I'll cut them all to the same length and pull that pull that leg straight with the mitre. I've got to put a little block in that top corner, but then there's another timber to go around. Like I say, three on the top. Just want to knock up the house and put it in the end of 
Spent in the middle this one as well. Can't see the knots either. What? I can't see the knots either. I don't know whether it's gonna kick on me. Jeopardy. Bit of, um, you can move it quite a bit, can't you? The wood? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Not so bad now. What did you do with that one? No, that's not, that's not it. It's the one up there, but... Feels better, doesn't it? What? Feels better now, doesn't it? The long distance is fine, it's just so short. Yeah, if I'm under a cupboard, trying to put a screw in. A little screw in a, in a hole or something, that's sometimes where I struggle. My phone. Yeah. My phone and receipts now. <laughs> Small writing on, on food packets. That's right. Yeah, I cannot, cannot do that either anymore. I used to be, I used to be like really. Yeah, I feel like an old person in my kitchen when I say, um, "Why do they make the writing so small on these packets?" <laughs> Right, that's just to keep this leg in place. What? I'll just keep going. <laughs> 